Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Hey guys, we're back again. Whoops, sorry guys. I forgot I'm not supposed to sing. I forgot. I've been banned. Um, this is a really cool package and that was super easy to open so hopefully it's still in here. Make sure there's no receipt. Um, I got a good deal on this. I definitely paid over spot, you know. Usually I'm getting these crazy spot deals, right? I've been really lucky lately. That's not always the case, by the way, guys. Those deals are not easy to find. But I paid a little bit more for this. I paid 190 and with like shipping and I, I paid a little bit extra to get it insured. Uh, just because I was worried about it. It cost me about 200 bucks. So it's a 10 ounce bar that's $20 an ounce, which is a huge premium. But I got this for significantly cheaper than these bars are going for right now. And as a matter of fact, let me slip on this glove here. Um, the reason I bought this is because there's a really cool story behind this and some rounds I have that I'm going to make another video. But this is, I'm planning to flip this. So let's see. Okay, cool. It's in a case. Or plastic thing. This is minted from the U.S. Strategic Stockpile of Silver, formerly stored at U.S. Assay Office, San Francisco, 1981. 999 fine silver, 10 troy ounces. Now, if you guys ever heard the story with the Hunt Brothers, um, you know, I'll go more into that story when I do the video showing this different silver, is they had a pretty much a corner on the market. And that's when silver ran up to nearly 50, almost 50 bucks the first time around back in the 80s. Um, so I might not get this completely right because I'm going to do some research before I make that video. But um, U.S. Strategic or the U.S. Mint or Assay Office started releasing um, this silver bars and rounds to kind of try to help combat that. It supposedly is what the story is. So I'll get more into those details later. But it's super cool history. And I really love, um, oops, I put one. I really love how it says the U.S. strategic stockpile. <laughs> I love that. And you guys know I, I, I'm into like emergency disaster stuff. I do counterterrorism stuff. So I really like too the old school like civil defense logos and stuff, you know, for like <laughs> back in the day. Uh, so this is kind of along those lines. So we're going to go ahead and test this. Cool thing about the sensors is it can go through mint capsules. It could go through a 10 ounce uh, bar capsule. And you can see here it is showing green. And I'm thinking I'm going to take this out and put it in an actual bar capsule. And I think we'll see if this is going to be big enough to do this. Oh, yeah. So whenever I can, guys, as long as it's not sealed, sealed. See, this is not a sealed one. It's just pushed in. I like to put them in um, air tights. So a lot of people say it's just bullion. Touch it with your hands. You don't need gloves, you don't need air tights, but guys, you gotta remember what your strategy is. My strategy is to sell this stuff later um, and either retire on it or flip it into property, depending on what's going on in the market, survive on it, whatever it ends up being, build my kingdom of silver. So I want this stuff in as good a shape as possible to do that. And especially for a bar like this, which I think I'm gonna flip, I wanna keep it in the best condition possible. Now it does have some toning and nicks and stuff, but that kinda adds uh, to the character of it, but I just don't want to add fingerprints or anything dumb on it, right? So and you can see there's like a cool battle scar there and Cool little things here, but you know if you're spending money on it keep it in keep it in good condition That's where I'm at even bullion Even American Silver Eagles, whatever I use a glove except for constitutional or 90% silver some people call it junk silver It's super dirty anyway all right, I just blew out the capsule. People are going to give me a hard time about that, but it's okay. Super funny uh, comment somebody put the last time I did this to the gold video. is like, in like a thousand years or 500 years when aliens try to open that gold to take it from you, you're going to kill them with the virus that got trapped in there. And they said, I wonder if it will happen with silver. But if you guys remember, silver is antibacterial. So that's why they put silver particles in girls' yoga pants to help with like bad smells. And that's why they even use silver in um, water purification. It's antibacterial, right? 
And people even swear from drinking from silver pitchers and cups. I've heard all kinds of stuff back in the day. Silver and gold goblets, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, cool unboxing. Ten more to the stack. I did pr pay a premium on this. But the only reason I'll pay a premium like that, because at the time I think spot was like 16 or 15 50 or something. So it's a $5, $4.50 premium, something like that. Only time I'll do that is if I know I can flip it later, which last time I checked on eBay, these were going for like, was it $2.60? Let me check right now. Yeah, so the last one that sold was $2.50. One was $2.20, $2.32, and all over the place. Um, but again, I paid $1.90 for this plus $10 for shipping. So really $200. So I think I did really well in this. And I'm gonna hold on to this. It's not an immediate flip. This is gonna be a hold flip later, especially once the spot price of silver comes up. And it's gonna be a super cool video to kind of give you guys a, some history of silver that's you know not readily known, right? Some people know it, but it's not a lot of people know about it. So we're gonna have some fun with that video. And I just doxed my face. Did you guys like the blur? Anyways, guys, hope you liked it. We'll catch you on the next one.